Right, the Ravager uh, may have a way to kill the Ravager, but at the same time, we'll, we're basically playing our last card with this. Uh, this would be one time committed wish use. It, uh, it brings out a group of golems. There's two things that the golems can do. One, they can damage the Ravager, and the Ravager doesn't seem to regenerate all that quickly, or if at all, so the important thing is to just be able to do damage to it. Two, the golems seem to be fairly eager to switch targets if I'm not available for them to attack uh, for their... Basically, I can be invisible to them. Uh, I could try the same team thing with the Planetar we can summon. The problem there is that the Planetar seems to be much more reluctant to switch target away from me. Two, it is... It's not eager to switch targets and I can't trick it with a simple invisibility. I would have to blind it. Basically, I, I tried both and the Golems are the only ones I can get to switch targets. The, if I could do it the same thing with a planetar, that would basically be a solution to all of the life's little problems. But so far I haven't been able to successfully done that. So even if it, it, it has no target to attack other than the Ravager and it takes damage from the Ravager, the planetar doesn't give a shit. The golems on the other hand at least seem to give a little minor piece of crap, so uh, I think that's the way to go. But it's a one-time thing, and I'm not sure... They, they would have to survive the... Blade Barrier. So maybe you should bring them in at a certain time, when the Blade Barrier isn't gonna last too long. I'm not sure. But at least I see this as a... Uh, Theoretical possibility. I'm not sure which one of the golems actually does the damage, so uh, I we'll have to definitely make sure all the gold golems get inside. You should not have come to this place. Yeah, this this will not work. One bright side about the golems uh, too is that uh, they're reliable. I can get them to come uh, every time. Up, uh, wrong save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end is near. Well, is but whatever. Well, I don't see how Vampire could make things worse there, actually, so if he wants to, she wants to come, that's fine. There's a Adamantite and a Juggernaut. One of them will be able to damage. You should not have come to this place. The second they take any kind of damage, I need to able to disappear
Yeah, they're definitely taking damage. 36 points of damage resisted. At least a juggernaut can do it. I'm not sure about that upside. I, I need to be visible apparently. Uh, you, I'd need to... I need to prevent them from moving. If they move, they abandon the target. And the second I am stuck here in the move. Fucker just stands there and does nothing. Without the blade barrier, there's nothing though. Yeah, this is this is well theoretically possible. Uh, The moment I'm visible, they will uh, abandon the Ravager, but the blade barrier does give them damage, which causes them to attack it. Yeah, it, it would be very careful positioning. Basically, so that they cannot move away from next to being uh, from next to the ravager while I'm invisible the whole time. So they're they're there uh, then then they keep attacking. That's the that's the only way. Right, so it's very very tricky. Do I summon them now? Let's see why I shouldn't seem to last anyway. But this is basically it. Uh, nothing else will damage the Ravager, that's the problem. And the same will apply to Melisande, so... Um, after this, I I've got nothing. How are we gonna do it? Uh, we need to sort of uh, war the Ravager and to this place. Yeah, the fucking golems. Uh, okay, they didn't appear this time. I guess I can't go invisible. The reason I, I I don't want them to be able to attack me accidentally during the cutscene. That's the only reason. Yeah, this isn't good. You should not have come to this place. You can probably use the swords as a way to help with this, but I still would need to lord the Ravager in the same location. No getting around that little factoid. Right. 
We got the sand and the adamantite, not the juggernaut this second. That could be the problem. Oh, there it is. Okay, this might be the answer because it's um, basically a narrow tube. So. Elevator isn't doing shit though. Why not? Nothing's happening, I can't do anything. There we go. Now it's doing some kind of range weapon attack. Point being, I don't think we can lure it. If we go too far away from the Ravager, we lose the ability to lure it anywhere. Right. So technically, things haven't really changed. But it's a, it's a much more trickier thing than I anticipated to basically keep them on target. I think one of them might have escaped. You should not have come to this place. Yep. Juggernaut one. Right. Now the sand golem would be trapped there at least. Tax the Ravager. Yeah. Can take damage, no problem. Is it going to maintain the attack? No. But you can keep it in a location where it should be able to attack it again and again and again. But it just won't maintain it. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, we have a theoretical chance of killing things still. Honestly, I, I sort of think I'm gonna call it quits at this point. There might be ways to get things forward, but it's... We, our enchantment isn't working on anything, our fire shields aren't working on anything. It's uh, it's basically me trying to get the AI scripting somehow to glitch a little bit so they attack each other. And it's incredibly cumbersome to even attempt, and there doesn't seem to be any... It doesn't seem to stick at all. There's still one thing we could try, but I think this is the last thing. Uh, I'm gonna spell trigger one of the golems, see if I can get some kind of enchantment uh, going against it after I've uh, lowered their resistance. If if that doesn't go anywhere, then I'm I'm officially abandoning peaceful temp and just playing the game to the end. I might uh, scout around Melissa, I mean, a lot like what works and what doesn't, but I'm not going to. Since we're so close to end, I don't think I want to basically try to bash my head against the wall a uh, huge duration of time just to see how things go, do I get lucky. It's it's become so cumbersome that it's it's drained all the enjoyment of playing the game out of me. 
and I, I don't want to... I want to basically get out of this misery and just put into an end. Okay. I need a proper useful tool. Adamant, it's either the Juggernaut. Actually, I have some hope for the Juggernaut because I haven't encountered Juggernaut golems. But at the same time, golems aren't particularly vulnerable to almost anything. I, I don't see mind control working on that. We have a few chives we can drive though. Alright, we're just gonna. Spell trigger the juggernaut. I'm dying, but that doesn't matter. We just need to test things. Termination. Yeah, there, there just isn't anything, any kind of reaction at all. Uh, I don't think the golem gives a shit. I'm gonna try the collar, but it, it's basically a charm. So if the domination isn't gonna work, it's highly unlikely a charm is going to work. Okay, where the hell are the control circles? Yeah, they're just, there's just nothing. Uh, yeah, I think I'll basically abandon our peaceful ways at this point. <sighs> we got a bit far further than I thought, and I think there's still a, there might be ways to get through things. But as I said, the ways, the path we started on at the start of the game, we tried to use traps and enchantments to get through. It, it hasn't worked in a while. And it's things that work have just become uh, fewer and fewer and fewer, and so yeah, I, I think we're just going to put this to an end. I'm emptying everything because I want to rethink the deck of options I have. This is this is now going to be pretty much pure murder at this point, uh, and nothing else really matters. So, for once, we can just let loose. No disabling crap, no nothing like that. Just murder. I think I need a couple of wish spells still. Uh, I need to rely on the wish spells to rest in the against Melisan at least. And the wish spell has the long duration time stop up. Cross alacrity combination, which is extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, yeah, give me a planet trap while you're at it. Might as well get all the fun out of this game at this point. Spell strike? Do I care? I don't care. Imprisonment. Instant death. Uh, energy blades, always nice, but I'm not sure if we should do that. Here's the thing, we, we don't need to fight armies, we need to take down singular powerful foes at this point. The energy blades is very good for that. Mm, this is fire damage, I'm not sure if it works. Right, what do we need? Cleansed fist. It's pretty much a guaranteed paralysis. Uh, instant held on the target, but more people are probably immune to that anyway. Abidalzim's horrid will things. The spell trigger at lower magic resistance is still probably preferable. I mean... We do have to, magic is our way to do things, so if we can't do that, we can't do anything. Uh, more the kind of swords, not sure I care. Fingers of death, uh, we're, we're mostly fighting opponents that basically have to be just damaged through. Summoned creatures aren't going to be able to do much anyway, they're, they're going to be just played out of the fight immediately through some bullshit abilities. 
So I'm not sure if that's uh, all the powerful thing either. Uh, different type of uh, spell defense removals. Uh, the limited wish. Does it have any use for me? Not really, I guess. We do have wands that allow us to do a lot of things. Uh, if it's not damage, I don't see it being all that useful. And a true side might be useful. I don't actually recall what the besides melee sound we're gonna face. Spell immunity is pretty much a must. Some fire is good if fire actually works on a target. Cloud kill would be poison damage, not sure if that's all that useful. I, I don't I don't particularly care for these uh, extremely high level adventures. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with them. It's just it's it's very rare you see them done in a way that's uh, actually interesting. They always come down to this. Nothing goddamn works anymore. Protection from electricity, sure. I don't See why not? Polymorph author is honestly something I didn't really think about in a while. I don't see the Reverter being affected by it. Technically, it could be you could make a squirrel out of him, then get some of the golems to attack a few times, and he could die. But yeah, I don't give a rat's ass anymore. Fire shields actually aren't that bad of a spell. I don't usually use these. They're because you have to put your wizard in harm's way, and that's that's hardly a good thing to do. Especially in an environment where you have to have other people, it makes very little sense. Uh, anything interesting? This is this is all too pathetic to really make make much of a difference. Uh, I suppose that's the fundamental problem with all of this. Skull trap actually isn't. We could put a uh, that on some kind of a trigger. It would have to be a trigger, as in an actual trigger, though. I don't particularly care. This is this is just nonsense against the opponents we're going to face. Okay, what exactly do we have in our triggers? Uh, spell sequencer. This makes no sense. Uh, can switch it to something more useful. Safinar is good servant. Oh yes. Uh, the benefit of a skull traps is simply that it's magical damage, so it'll it'll get through. I think that's gonna be pretty much good enough. Ah, yeah. Just give me something. Trying to put things to an end. What exactly do we need? We're gonna need to ba put out as much damage as we possibly can, protect against uh, dispel magic of every type. 
right. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. I protect myself against alteration too, but I don't think so. I'm gonna try something. I uh, don't need to do anything here. I'm gonna try to wish myself a uh, time stop. I don't recall how likely it is. It's probably just as likely as any of the other options, so maybe if you get lucky you could get it two out of three unlucky and it's maybe once in a while. It's not all that certain. We doesn't worry quilting uh, sure why not? Resistance isn't actually lowered. Huh. You're going to have to do some kind of physical damage to it then. Monetar is probably good enough actually. Yeah. He, he isn't particularly good or anything. I just need to be a decoy. Weapon effective. It can't actually hurt it. That means the Dark Planetar could not have hurt it either. So the Golem option would have been the only one available. That's interesting. That's all up to me then. I don't really, wasn't really, really affected by anything. <laughs> Double length time stop and improved alack. Okay, gravity here doesn't care. So even that doesn't work in this. They've changed it in the enchanted, uh, enhanced edition apparently. Magic resistance. Yeah, you can't lower his magic resistance. I think he's immune to such spells in general. So we would have to have a very different type of spell selection simply to basically be able to even affect these guys at all. Cannot be really affected through spells at all. Yeah, it just doesn't care. Do we have any other way of lowering uh, magic resistance on a target? I think there was a weapon, but I'm sure we can use it. Alright. Each hit lowers magic resistance by 15% for 4 rounds, but. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly our strong suit, is it? 
chances that we are we are able to hit with this is pretty goddamn low. Right. Uh, Black Blade of Disaster and Energy Blade seem to be our pretty much our only options. It just isn't gonna take any damage. Even wishes are sort of worthless against it. Planet are certainly absolutely worthless. Uh, we don't have the luxury of using the wish spells here. The Black Plague of Disaster be actually useful. It is a plus 5 weapon. Uh, we probably could use it in combination with the Energy Blades. Energy Blades will hit better. Everything else is pretty much wasted. Uh, Tensor's transformation. Undergoes a startling transformation. Size and strength of the wizard increases to heroic proportion. Comes formidable fighting machine. Uh, in combination with Grand Mastery, of, uh, with the Blade of Black Blade of Disaster that might actually be useful. Uh, it could, it should probably be combined with some kind of spell trigger, simply because otherwise it's pretty much impossible to cast. Huh. Let's give it a try at least. Basic defense is first. In some ways the Ravager might be the worst opponent for us. Melisan might not be quite so tough to harm through magic. That's pretty much all we have here. Because it, Melisan also requires plus 4 weapons to arm. I forgot that we have that. Well, skull traps aren't gonna help unless we can lower the magic resistance. Does the weapon we have. Yeah, does that tensor's transformation have its own weapon or not? Uh, because if it doesn't, we should definitely use the answer. Actually, we probably shouldn't. But do we have better ones? I can't believe I'm doing this, but uh, I wanna talk. Tespinar gladly serves a good huh? sword that burns. Okay, stand back then. Never use this recipe for your Could be messy. Enjoy. What does this sword do? Unity to level drain strength oh, yes. 22, so that Lots actually helps find. quite a bit. It's also a plus 5 weapon, so it should. Uh, works is fine. There's no use for the Staff of Command really. The only use it ever had was that we could easily take control of things, but now, yeah, just not really doing anything. No one's really using charm or domination against us either. What a big sword you have! Sword of Grief is not something we can use. Dagger is a shit weapon. I keep that strength. Ooh, it's very. There's some. Ooh, 
Honor. I can't. What got we here? A book? No. You have something here? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Maybe I have something here. Well, I don't see anything. That's pretty much the only thing we can do. So much for that. Over and out. See ya. Wouldn't. Shiny ones. Okay. Another try. We do need protections from abjur uh, abjuration, at the very least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not hitting, which isn't all that surprising. And there is transformation. Attacks per round only two. Uh, isn't particularly good. I suppose our chance to hit is a slightly better. I feel this is a way to try to finish him off after using your spells, but. Mm. By the time spell ends, I don't think we've achieved much. Yeah, our defenses will end much sooner. Than that. He's taking has a huge amount of health. He's taken quite a bit of damage. He's taken about ten points every time we hit. And we've hit quite a few times, and he hasn't really lost any health at all. Yeah, he's kicking my ass. He also gives up fairly easily for some reason. Ooh. I gotta use a simulacrum to double our damage. using some kind of range attack. And I'm losing something. Not sure what. So triggers remain. 
So some kind of defenses could have been maintained through that. So should have been. I should have had uh, protection from medical weapons. Yeah, we would have done 86 points of damage with that attack normally. Now we took 22. I cast spells again? No. We do about 8 points of damage per hit at this stage. Can't cast spells still. What is the... Pincer's Transformation logo? Right, it's, it's a red logo beneath a red background, that's why I can't see it. Pretty much, yeah. It needs to be combined with a simulacra. No matter what we do, it needs to be combined with a simulacra. I don't have a simulacrum because I decided that we don't really need them anymore. But since magic resistance is a big thing, all of these spells are pretty much worthless. So, yeah. Get tensors. This is pretty much like trying to fight a lich that actually no sort of fight in physical combat. Right, none of this is gonna work on it. Magic resistance, magic resistance, magic resistance, magic resistance, magic resistance. Bye. 
not much we can do. There's no point trying to get rid of the little shit. I'm going to lose my defenses soon. To replace that first. Damage from these is absolutely pitiful, and uh, second of all, I'm not actually hitting with these. Even with decent rolls, uh, I'm just not getting hit on the other curve. Like that at all. And it cannot be affected through. Yeah, I can't lower his resistance. He, he just doesn't give a crap. Totally immune to it all. Is it a uh, spells a certain level? Uh, yeah, everything's ineffective. Ah, uh, how do you do it then? I think. It has to be the answer because it'll lower his armor class, so we don't need so many hits on it. Just need a little bit. What else is it? It's enough to harm them, enough to lower their magic resistance, enough to lower their armor class. It's not gonna last for long, but it's still something. Especially the armor class should sort of help collapse his defenses. Should. Mr. Simulacrum, go there. So even the the blades we're using are gonna be pretty much worthless unless I can get his uh, magic resistance or armor class to go down. And with this, it's not going to work. We need something much more powerful on the attack front to get anything done. Intensive transformation is pretty much the only thing I can do. getting hits in, but I'm not seeing any kind of real uh, effect on it. 
Not sure how I could spot it though either. It's vulnerable to magic now. Ravager take damage. Mm, yes. Okay, that's the way to do it then. <laughs> 